Hi, and good afternoon, everybody. My name is Oliver Mitchell, and I'm really happy to be here this afternoon. I am here at the Exchanges Gallery in Victoria, and the pictures on show, on exhibition here, are from the last 20 years of what I've been playing around with. This one here, the first picture, is actually the first one that I did out of the series of canvases, and it is an invitation to the dance. These pictures tell a story, and I accompany that with music. Generally, I play guitar, as I will a little bit later, to, to discuss the relationship between the story behind the picture and the music, and combining the the visual and the auditory aspects as a multimedia presentation. My newest picture is the next one on this side and this was just completed last month. It embodies a computer digital work with layers of watercolors and uh, some, some of my older designs. So it's a, a symbiosis of organic structure and digital, um, digitally manipulated uh, variations. This painting is called Nest in Space, and this is another very colorful montage of, uh, of different colors from... Um, it's a G-clay, it's built up on the canvas with hand embellishment afterwards. So what's really interesting is the, the relationship between light and sound, and I've been trying to develop the... Uh, being able to discover some of the, the ways that light and sound are very much related. After all, they're both vibrations. Uh, sound is from about, we hear from 16 hertz to 20,000 hertz, that means vibrations per second. Whereas light is, of course, billions of times per second. There the wavelength of the light is very fast in comparison. But there is a relationship that some people have discovered that if you go 40 octaves from a sound, that it has a corresponding light in the visitor spectrum. So in other words, if you play C, if you play C, then you double the number of vibrations of that note, middle C, you double it 40 times, that means 40 octaves, you will arrive at billions of times per second in the green area of the spectrum. So it is possible to equate the colors with sounds in, in some kind of sense. So I'm just uh, learning about those kind of ideas.
So this picture is guitar on Mars. Yes, this is vibrant and a funny story behind this. And by the way, you can see this fits pretty good here. The funny story is that uh, they discovered that the existence of water on Mars a couple of years back. And so I was joking and I was figuring, well, guitars are probably the next thing that uh, an adventurer might find if he goes to Mars. That's because I'm a guitarist. So when I play music, I try and develop a sound which is somehow uh, developing the story behind a picture. And all of the pictures have different stories. And so I either play a particular piece, or as I am now, I just try to explain. So I'm very happy to introduce Arif Mitchell, my eldest son, and this is him on the wall as well over here. As you see on the picture, he's playing his telly. That's a few years back now. <laughs> so Arif and myself, we play in a band called The Gruntles. We were Zinc Gizmo for many years, I played for the last 10 years, but now more recently we've developed The Gruntles. And yeah, we do hot world beat and blues. I'd like to introduce one more person. Well, this is a lady who's a singer, and that's why I call this canvas the singer. You see the large open mouth and the vibrations. <laughs> this is uh, for a lady who really inspired me with singing. And the last picture I would like to introduce you to is my very favorite daughter. She's my only daughter, <laughs> but she's very wonderful, Layla. And Layla Mitchell is, uh, this is her portrait. I called it Mona Layla because I thought her smile looked a little like the Mona Lisa. And she is actually right now in St. John's. She just went there and she's traveling across Canada. So, way to go, Layla. So I'm very glad that you, you're interested in art with um, the colorful and the sincere aspects of doing art or music. I think all lies with the intention, the reason that one's doing it. The reason being for me, for togetherness, for sharing, for feeling love, for exploring and learning with other mediums and coordinating our experiences and trying to present them in a beautiful way.